There's an argument, originally made by Darwin in 1872, that because it's an evolutionary thing, our brains are hardwired to work with nonverbal communication. Just like little children, their brains are hardwired to pick up on language, our brains are hardwired to pick up on nonverbal communication, and it's for evolutionary reasons. We've already spoken about some of those evolutionary functions. We can't, however, point to an evolutionary explanation for all expressions. Humans like to smile. No other animal does. I know sometimes you think your dog is smiling at you, dolphins are smiling at you, but they aren't. I'm sorry, they're not. Not with their mouth, yet we do it, and we don't know why. If this is true, if it's an evolutionary thing, then culture shouldn't matter. Everywhere around the world, they should pull the same faces for the same facial expressions if that's something that's hardwired into our brain. Actually, that's pretty much true. Paul Ekman and his colleagues have done quite a few studies looking at this. They found that if you go to people from different cultures around the world and you give them a bunch of faces and ask them to say what emotion each face shows, people are pretty consistent. There's not a lot of variation across cultures except in terms of ratings of intensity of emotions. Although some researchers such as James Russell have argued that there are more differences across cultures, the evolutionary explanation seems to be the most supported one. There's other things as well. Babies are pretty good at pulling certain faces. What's this one? Well, that's fear, right? I don't know how they get these fear photos. Babies do distress pretty well. That's important from an evolutionary point of view. Disgust, they do pretty much straight away. If something's disgusting to them, they'll screw up their nose, they'll do the disgust face. That's evolutionarily important. Then within about six to eight weeks, babies do the smile. It seems to just happen. Then within six months, they've got the full spectrum. Again, this kind of suggests that they're pretty good at it, which means it's probably hardwired. Babies are not struggling to learn it. One thing that's really powerful evidence is the fact that they smile even if they're born blind and deaf. Now, let's say a baby burps and they accidentally fluke a smile. It could be that everyone goes, oh my God, they're smiling. Suddenly, they gain lots of attention, all these positive reinforcements, so they do it again. We might think that the environment shapes the smile. Now, that's not necessarily the case because we know that deaf and blind children who can't hear or see the feedback also smile at about the same time as children who are not deaf or blind. That again suggests an evolutionary function. We spoke about the fact that some of these emotions are seen across species, particularly the snarling expression, which you see in monkeys, you see it in cats, you see it in dogs. Obviously, you see it in humans too.